burn and hating the countryside, burn and hating the peasants, burn and hating all the people. Hey there, you little degenerates. Classic Fino's back with the latest fuck servant guide. Uh, this time we're looking at Summer Kiyohime, aka Psycho Lizard Mark II. Now, as I said in the Skahawk guide, I don't own any of these Summer Gacha servants, so this is going to be a fairly light guide. Uh, couldn't run too much in the way of testing, but that's no obstacle to a consummate memer, now is it? Kiyohime's kit is geared heavily towards single target damage, uh, with a buster amp and defense debuff. These are on low cooldown, so you can spam them in Brawl without too much trouble. Uh, just be careful with that defense debuff, it comes with a very nasty attack buff. Let's see, Kiyohime's also got an AoE crit debuff, uh, which is plain, but functional. You're mostly fighting archers with her, so it's not the biggest deal. I mean, I guess it's nice for Epic of Remnant when enemies feel like they crit a lot more often. Uh, Kyo's Noble Phantasm makes her fairly strong against YouTube, on account of her ringing that bell. It's a great idea. You should do it too. But yeah, it comes with uh, some interesting side effects. It's got a burn that scales with overcharge, uh, which is not really worth the trouble in my experience. But you can min-max in a chain if your other NPs have crap overcharges. Uh, there's also a skill seal which isn't the most common thing. That has some niche applications. Like if you fight Gilgamesh in Nerofest or, in general, you can hit him at 2 bars to stop him from doing that really annoying shit where he does Golden Rule into Anima Elish. Fuck that guy. In terms of team building, Keo Lancer pairs well with other quick buster hybrids. Elizabeth in particular complements her strengths with an AoE NP, her own defense debuff, and a 2 stack charisma buff for women, post strengthening. A Lancer Alter's got her own charisma and she can capitalize on Keo Star Gen when it happens. Karna's NP seal reduces debuff resistance and it can buy you that critical turn to finish the job. A Leonidas can take some pressure off her, but usually he's not necessary, since she can lean on class advantage to stay alive. Consider him for some of the more intense encounters. Then we have Donza, who's a good fit with her deck, AoE NP, and uh, targetable evasion slash invulnerability. Uh, that last bit gives Kyo some critical cover on NP turns. And of course there's Merlin, but his arts deck is a rough fit. That kit though, yeah it's a hard one to shake. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The meme team. This is the Kyo Trio. Uh, name's not mine. Uh, shout, shout out to Lord Bleak for that one. But yeah, it was only a matter of time. Now I talked about this earlier, but let me expand. All versions of Kyo he may have a defense debuff that also gives the enemy a huge stick to molest you with. Uh, this stacks, so if you want to play the most dangerous game, you run three Kiyohimes and put every debuff on the same target. Uh, this turns it into a huge glass cannon and gives you one turn to kill it before it does spriggin' things to your frontline. It's a lot of fun. Uh, actually you can cheat at this game with the Keldia Combat Uniform. Just stun your victim and that'll give you two turns of quality time. Now if you want to bitch out and have a functional team, switch one of the Kios out for Elizabeth. This setup brawls really well and also keeps the boss melting aspect. It's a lot better than I expected. Kit-wise, Elizabeth actually plays a lot nicer with Keo Lancer than Jolter does, and she's a semi-common spook to boot. Honestly, Keo Lancer isn't that bad. Uh, she does need some babysitting, but not an absurd amount. She's not a power pick, but she's perfectly adequate as a primary Lancer. If you got her while fishing for Tamamo, don't feel too bad. Keo's a solid consolation prize. And that's all I've got. If you like what you heard, by all means like, sub, and uh, watch me stream on Twitch. I play this game, some others, uh, we meme around, talk some shit. It's all around a good time. Uh, in fact, I could be streaming right now, but you wouldn't know it on YouTube. So head on over to Twitch, uh, Twitter, Discord. You can find out when I stream from any of those places, all linked in the description. All right, see ya.